Are you still going? No, the, the chunk destroyer is not still going. How much diamonds do we have? So I'm thinking we might want to make... No, we still don't have a lot of diamonds. I was thinking I might want to make the uh, chunk destroyer now. But we still don't have enough for that. Which is unfortunate. Drop that in. Do that. Okay, we're cleaned up. Um, It might be boon of the earth time again. How's our ore? How's our raw iron or raw ore? And I did notice that I looked at the wrong ore when I was in the end. I actually looked at the pitch blend instead of the uraninite. So does this actually give me what I need? No, it still does the uraninite dust. And then we have to go through this whole thing to get plutonium and such. That is fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Yeah, we just had 200 gold. And now look at us. We're back up to 800. So that's cool. Uh, we're running low on predictions. Are we? we still have 100. Yeah, we still have... Uh, that's another 600... 60 gold right there so that's good what can we turn these into wither skull fragments and wither skulls what are the wither skull fragments so that's three and a half that you get with that so that gives you three and a half and this just gives you three so this would be the better one to go for and then we just set up crafting for wither skulls yeah okay um, and as long as we set up auto crafting with that, then we could be good to go. So let's go ahead and ex start exporting the wither predictions down here. Oh, we are. What are we making with them? Or sorry, not, is it wither skeleton predictions? We need these. So this, and then we will select the skull fragments because that will give us more overall. Okay, sweet. We have that going now. That's awesome. And we're storing the skull fragments as well. So, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to go back to the back to the mines. And then we can reset also. Man, this is going to look neat when I'm done with it. Then we can also move the quarry over here. Move this quarry away. Yeah, because I think it's done. Yep, it's done. Okay. So let's go ahead and move this over break one of those and then i think we put it here yep there we go set this up again right here set that we have the pipe where the pipe go oh i already put it down Duh. so we do this put that on there and do that go ahead do your dance baby all right it's working again is this uh area chunk loaded though don't think so. It is. Okay, so this is still chunk loaded. Then we can un unload that. All right, do your thing. And then we will go down here and go absolutely ham on some... Actually, maybe we go all the way up as far as possible up here. And just go. Did I break my stairs again? I did. just gonna keep going because I know I'm gonna need a lot of diamonds I don't feel like strip mining for them so boon of the earth is gonna be my baby for now it's gonna get me what I need I think I think a chunk destroyer is really what I want to get going right now get a hell of resources then I can put fortune on the chunk destroyer too be really cool good lord so that's, I think that's plenty, probably not. It's probably not plenty, but I'm going to hope it is. We'll deposit all of this into there. And then our system will start kicking off down below. And all the raw iron will get pumped over to here. And everything else as well. Like so. Oh, coal is... Oh, I need to tell it to output coal, too. Damn it. Coal! Right here, yeah. For the future, I guess. Uh, this thing needs a stack upgrade on it, too. Damn. Yeah, so it can just output everything from an ore instead of one at a time. 
so it doesn't get caught up like this. Now this thing's stuck. Yeah, not having a stack upgrade on there was kind of dumb. Kind of messed up the entire system. But that's okay. And this one as well needs a stack upgrade. You already have stack and speed. God, these things are bright as hell. You're still going really strong over here. How are you holding up? You have no power. At all. You can't produce much at all, can you? Okay, we're going to have to probably take this down. Um, and upgrade you. We have a ton of blaze rods now, so we can do that. Yeah, we're gonna need a bunch of blazing crystals. How much? I need to do maths. I think 72 is how much we need, because we need 36 of these, and that's gonna be four each, so that's 36 hardened capacitors. Or not hardened capacitors, we need to go even further beyond. So, 36 blazing capacitors, which need four for each, so that's 72. We're gonna need 72 blazing crystals. Do I have it set up to make blazing? No. Nope. So I need to go here and do blazing crystal. We need to set up a recipe for this. I'll have to do that. Go over to the energizing orb crafter over here. And do this. And then tell it to make 72 of those. I need to go over here, tell this up here how to make blaze powder. Oh, we can also make it with that, nice. But we're gonna tell it to do this. So it knows how to make blaze powder. We're gonna need another X, not exporter, we need an external. And another one of these, and we're gonna need a crafting upgrade another interface so I can store more stuff and things that I want to have so I'll do that and then tell it extract only so it doesn't put anything into here we'll put that in there now we want to store dielectric am I silly Am I misspelling it? We want to be able to store dielectric paste. And we want to have it make basic capacitors as well. And tiny capacitors. And large capacitors. We're going to tell it how to make all of those so it stores them. It will also tell this to store uraninite as well. Because our system knows how to make uraninite. So now we can tell it to always have uraninite going. Um, or to make sure we always have a stack. But later we'll probably put it in a crafter like so. You see that? Look, it was waiting. It's waiting for the predictions to come through now, which is really sick. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Look at that. Gorgeous. It just waits. It sits in there and waits. And our iron and I believe our glowstone as well can keep up with that. Yeah, we're still at 440 glowstone. We're, we're chilling on that. We're at 2.3k gold. That's very nice. Diamonds were up to 258, which is good because we're going to need a ton of those for the Chunk Destroyer. I actually think we're going to need even more, even more than that anyway. Okay, so we need more patterns. We're going to need a lot more patterns. So let's go ahead and make some of these. Let's tell it how to make dielectric. And we'll exchange this with charcoal because we have charcoal being renewed. So we'll do that. Because it knows how to make, it should have, it should know how to make all of these things. We'll help tell it how to make dielectric paste. And now we need to go back to power. We need to tell it how to make these, and then we need to tell it how to make these, and then tell it how to make these. Okay, that should be every basic one. Actually, we also need to tell it how to make these as well in these in the cube this here um okay so now we need to go down below again 
and go here and drop this into here and tell it to hold that many and tell this to hold that many and tell this to hold that many. So now all of these should get stored into here, which is really nice for me because I like things to be crafted for me automatically. All right, now we can go up to here and broop. And now this thing should start filling up. Yeah, look at that. We need to learn how to make fences though. And we need to tell it how to make fences as well. Iron fence. Ooh. Iron. Here we go. Iron bars. You tell it how to make that. And we'll drop that in there too. It should be able to make those other things. I don't know why they're not getting stored. Okay, there it goes. All right, cool. They're all done. Sweet. So now all the power stuff, now all the power stuff is being stored, which is very, very good. Very nice. Let's go to craftables and let's tell this to make 72 of these. Now, hopefully that's going off over here. It's going to drain a ton of our power. Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade these rods too, huh? Thing. Rod. We have another. We have some starter ones. We can upgrade them to basic, no problem. Let's go ahead and make four more of those. And then we'll do this. Rod. Do that. That and that and that. Take all of these. Need cables. These cables. That's fine. Make another block of that. Grab this. Upgrade this one. There we go. Oh. Make some more of these and then upgrade these. Do that one there. Okay, there we go. So now those are cooking faster at least, much faster. And we can start working on getting to the next level. Blazing. Okay, we have a ton of blazing crystals. We're just gonna make these. Oh damn, we have plenty. I made way too many. There we go, 36. All right, so now we need to go up to the next level, Niotic. Do these need diamonds? They do, that would be a lot of diamonds. Um, so let's not do that right now. But we can at least place this down so it'll do more power. There we go. Auto mode on. So it's now it's generating enough to where it's not being drained completely. Or that's because the quantum entangle porter is doing good. Hopefully it does start getting drained though. I mean, that's why we built this. We want it to be getting drained. Let's check below. Let's see, even if it, if it fills up and it's not getting drained, then we know it's a problem. Okay, so it's not getting drained now, which is unfortunate. It should be getting drained, at least by these, right? wonder if I change this. Okay, so now it's getting drained really fast because I told it to pull power out. All right. Well, it's getting drained now, so that's good. At least it's producing, which is what I want it to do. So that's all right. And it's also because this is kicking off fully. How's our ethylene over here? We're doing good here. This is not even produced. This isn't producing at all. Okay, it is every now and then. And so are these. You're taking power from the bottom, right? Yeah, you're taking input only. That's good. All right. Um, so you take input and output, so you can output power closer to here. Input output. Well, that's items. Energy, input output. There we go. Right, yeah, that's good. And you're just gonna continuously get drained. That's fine though. This is okay. Uh, we're still low on diamonds. I wonder. 258 diamonds. We have a fortune book, right? Fortune. 
Yep, we have fortune four. Where do we need for the chunk destroyer again? Eight blocks of diamond, two nether stars, a dragon head. We need three quarry pluses, which needs 64 diamonds. I think we can make it now. The flexible markers. Confusing. Okay. Chunk destroyer. Um, We're going to need these. I'm going to need another quarry plus. Pump plus. That is a lot of glass. Damn. Okay, we need to go get some sand. Isn't there like a huge black sand area over this way? Yeah, over here. Over here. Let's go ruin this area. How much sand do we have? A thousand? Okay, that's about. Yeah, because we're going to need 512. Let's grab more. Okay. We have double as much as we need. Let's drop that in there, and that should automatically get to smelting. There we go. Yep, she's cooking up nicely. You already output everything that you needed to. Chuck all that in there. We're going to need a quarry plus and another one. Okay. We have two of those now. And now we need a bunch of glass. One. Just grab all of that. Okay, we got all that glass. Uh because we're gonna need these pump pluses. So we're gonna grab this. And then we're gonna need a, another one. Put that in there again and get another pump plus. Okay, we have those pump pluses. Chunk destroyer, now we need the chunk markers. Flexible marker, you need a marker plus. Wait, for that you need a flexible marker. Ah, I see, okay. Make some redstone torches then. Whoops. Let's go ahead and make these. One, two, three. Okay. Now, chunk destroyer, what else? Ah, I see, we already have those. So let's take these out. Uh, we need the emerald blocks, and we need the diamonds. Okay, and now we need to go get our other quarry. So we need to go over here, and we need to take this. And go back home. Then we should be able to make the Chunk Destroyer. Oh man, I hope we can make it. I hope we have everything. I think we do with this and these. We chuck everything in here. Oh, do I need to take this out? Maybe. Should be everything, right? Quarry plus. Do I need to make another one, man? Um, chunk destroyer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make another one of these. Dang it. Because of the NBT data. Dang it. Okay, quarry plus. Oh well. It happens. Toss that in there. Yes! Chunk destroyer, baby! Oh! Yes! Yeah! Give me that chunk destroyer! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give yes. Yes, 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 yes. We have the chunk freaking destroyer, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can look up quarry here. And I saw that the enchantment mover, I believe, lets us put stuff. Yes! See, we can put it onto here. You can put enchantments onto the chunk destroyer. That's so good. Let's uh let's go ahead and make this. We need more obsidian. Really? Yeah, we have obsidian dust. How much obsidian do we have do we have? We have 63. 
Okay. Um, well, shoot. What I could do is just take this. Let me out the door. Okay. We have one obsidian. That's all we needed, right? And then quarry. We need two anvils we can make. And then need the enchantment mover. Grab this stuff out of here. God, we are going to have no diamonds for a moment, that is. Hey, <laughs> you drop all this in there. Grab the enchantment mover. Take this here. Put that down right there. And drop this. Oh, does it have to be on a pickaxe? It does. Okay. So, but we can put fortune on, and then we can just put fortune for. Oh, it's. Ooh. Okay. Whoops. Well, I messed that up. Kind of. That's okay, though. Fortune 3, Efficiency 5. So it has Fortune on it now. Then I can just go back. Let me just go back into here and drop Fortune onto that. There we go. Do we have Efficiency over here? Efficiency 2, 2. We go. Kind of messed that up, but that's okay. Because now, what I can do is... Drop this into that backpack. Go to the mining dimension. Mining dimension. Straight over here. There we go. Like that. Now we take this. And this. And this. This. Boom. I need to go grab the ender cell. Or the ender gate. Which I don't think I can even... Oh, this is only 20k. It takes 20k. I can produce 20k. All right. That's 20k, and then I'm also producing... How much over here? Producing 9.2. So, and this over here can produce 21. At full blast. And we have ethylene left over. So, yeah, we're good. Let's go back over here. Let's go into here. Let's tell this thing to go absolutely nuts. Turn off ready to start. We will throw these modules in there. We'll do chunk by chunk. We will go absolutely crazy. It's gonna be a massive area, dude. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's gonna cut all that down. Yeah, look at that, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of ore. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna tell it to do though. And we'll click ready to start and we'll go. It's building it out. Hell yes. Chunk Destroyer Unlocked. It's got Fortune 3 on it. Efficiency 5. I wonder how good this is going to be. It's building. It's. I mean, this is a huge area. We're doing a 16 by 16 area right now. It would be much faster if I put more power into it. But I haven't yet. And, but that is fine, dude. We're going to have so much stuff. I mean, look at that. It can't even output it fast enough. It can barely match it. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. Yes, I'm so happy with this. This is so nice. We got like an enchanted coal. Did you guys see that? What the hell was that? Well, yeah, we were out of diamonds. We're not going to be now. <laughs> Actually, we might run out of storage. Oh, I need to make sure I chunk load this thing. Um, with the chunk destroyers and stuff, you only have to chunk load the chunk that they're in not the chunks that it's going to hit and it'll still do it and i set this thing to do chunk by chunk so it's going to finish this one chunk and then it'll go to the next one hell yeah let's freaking go oh my gosh i'm very pleased i'm very pleased with that yeah our storage is going to get full quick should i set up end stone yet i did not i need to gosh dang it i made a mistake by not doing that so let's go ahead and do this make a compacting drawer here We'll move this, do that, end stone, do that there. I have an elite exporter. 
cable. We'll do that. And that should start filling up. Oh, once I tell it end stone. So we'll do this. There we go. It should start filling up right. Do I need to connect it up to here? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now, speed. You gotta make some more speed upgrades. I already have some. Let's go ahead and make a stack upgrade and then make some more speed upgrades. And then we'll chuck that onto there and there. There we go. All right, so that's already full. Now, take this, lock that, add that, that, put that there, add that one back. There we go. You're already almost full. Oh goodness. So I need to make some of these. Put those in there. I'm gonna need to make a ton of these actually. So let's just do that and drop those on there, drop those on there, on there, onto these ones as well. You need to do another compacting drawer for lapis. I'll just make a few of these because I'm going to need more. And we'll do right here. Let's we'll lock this. Grab our lapis. Do that. And then we'll have to set up the same thing here with the cable and the speed and stack upgrades. Do this. Look up lapis. Have it drop all the lapis into there. Do some upgrades on that. This should have all the lapis and then we'll connect that to the system as well. There we go. Oh, this is going to be so nice. We're going to have so much stuff now. Are our diamonds filling back up? Yeah, we're already back up to almost 200. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> yes. All right need diamonds and emeralds right here so let's go ahead and grab those do that lock these and we'll do diamonds emeralds i think we can already add them like so so any new ones will just go into these uh but we do need to add the exporter as well so we'll go like so, whoops, like that. And then there we go. Tell it to do emeralds and then stack speed. There we go. Okay, all those are in there now. Now we gotta do the same for this one. So like that, stacks speeds in here say diamonds okay that one's done too nice now i'm gonna need more upgrades upgrades people upgrades we'll do all those those all the way and this one too yeah very nice very 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 nice do we have every ore out here right now i think we do um i hope we do damn we have 24k redstone damn oh look at this so gorgeous look at all this raw ore man all these blocks need to be decompressed i need to have a system that automatically decompresses these and i don't know how to do that i could put them in drawers right all the raw i could put all the raw in drawers and it would all go maybe that's what i do well we can remove this sign but hell yeah man we got a freaking chunk destroyer let's freaking go dude I'm so happy with that. Oh, oh, baby. Those are ethylene. Are we getting drained? Kind of. Are we? No, we're not. Cool. Awesome. We can hold. We're holding, baby. Let's go. We are holding above what we're using. Even with this thing going absolutely ham over here. Yeah, look. Oh, my gosh. Damn. I need to make a stack upgrade over here. Oh my goodness. Let's do this. Good lord. 
Let's uh, just upgrade this all the way to gold. I don't think we need to do diamond, but yeah, let's do that. There we go. Yeah, they can hold 4,000 in each now. Goodness, that was crazy. I guess we do this one too, huh? So it can match, I suppose, at least that, at least one. There we go. Okay, why not? We'll go ahead and upgrade it one more time. And we'll just put the gold one in there. Like so. There we go. Ding, man. Look at all that. Or So, so good. So I am I am very happy with that. We need efficiency on this thing now. <laughs> Hello, witch. <laughs> Give me an egg. You suck. How's our uh, glowstone? Okay, so the glowstone is running out. Oh man, I picked up a whole bunch of crap. I don't want all that crap. Anyway, chunk destroyer freaking obtained. That is really damn awesome. I am super happy with that. This can hold 21 million of end stone. That's good. Okay, we freaking did it. I am very excited with that. We got into some mix. We got into some auto crafting stuff. We just got into it. We're getting some more gold, iron, diamonds, everything. We're already back up to 300. And f We're ahead of how many diamonds we had when we got this thing. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I'm so, I'm so excited for that. I'm glad that I figured out I could put fortune on that as well. I did not know that. So that's really freaking cool. We have a ton of XP. That's our... So we haven't even touched our 256k yet, which is really nice. That means that this these external storages here are this is literally saving us so much space because we would not be able to store any amount of this in here. Probably well over a million items, two million items in here. Um from the compacting drawers. Damn, look at all that. Crazy amount of stuff in here. Yeah, look at those raw ore. Good lord. That's that's a problem right there. There's so much. So much. Where did that, is the stack upgrade in here? Yeah. Let's go over here and tell this thing to output quicker. Go more faster. There we go. Yeah, pump it all out. Get that out of there. That's what I like to see, baby. We can, we probably want to upgrade this system more too. All of these machines, but we don't have enough power yet. We do have enough diamonds to upgrade this reactor, though. Hmm. We could do with that. Niotic? Is it time? We could do that. Power. And then we could look at also getting the spirited. Just set. We can just set all these patterns up for the future. Nitro crystals. We can already do this one. We have plenty of redstone and... Uh, well, we do need blazing crystal blocks, so... But we do have enough for that. We just don't have enough power to get to that point. But we do have these. That's good. Ooh, uh, do we have speed on me? I do. I will i don't know if this will help, but I'll just go ahead and toss one in there. I think we're getting slowed by the router, not uh, not the other thing. Oh, quests. Let's check our quest rewards, yeah? Whoa! Holy moly! You got the Lantern of Paranoia thing. You place torches... In unlit areas automatically, shift right click to activate. Like so. Does it? Doesn't look like it does. Not doing it. Oh, it's because I have my area claimed. Duh. That's probably why. What if I go outside of my claim unclaimed area? No? Well, anyway, that's that was a neat reward at least. What else did we get? Some basic things. Oh, we got spider seeds. Hey, I didn't craft these, okay? <laughs> the system just gave them to me. I'll go ahead and plant those then. Whoops. System over here trying to help me out. It said, hey, here's a gift. And I said, well, thank you. And some more patterns. That's good. Oh man, why don't they ever stack, man? It's the same damn thing. What if I... What if I put them in the system? Do they stack now? No. Dang it. Oh well, I'll just put them in here. 
Okay, we did the power orb. Now we need to look at the generator uh, or the reactor. So we have blazing, so we need the niotic. And that's gonna need 36 of these, which is four for one. So that means 36 times four. So that is 144. So we're gonna need to spend 144 diamonds. So we need 144 of these. All right, well, good thing we have 300 diamonds. Crafter is locked, processing. All right, it's going. It is indeed going. This is still doing its best. This thing is gonna be mad slow too. We can make a couple of those. We need some more blocks of quartz. So we have these now, these two at least. That'll speed it up a bit. Yeah, now I think we're gonna start draining. Oh no, we're still fine, are we? No, we are not. We are running low, low on power. That's okay though. That's okay for now. Still have... So this, these three are getting powered just enough by these four. Which is good. Are you full? Yeah, you're full. Okay, we have 33,000 of that. You still aren't full. Our melons are at 75k. Dean. That is fine. How much are we up to? Niotics. Up to 27. This is, yeah, that's going to take a while to finish up. Dean. Okay, what can we do in the meantime? We have we have tons of resources now. Yeah, we're still pumping up in diamonds, which is really, really good. Any other ways to improve power? Well, what we could do is set up that crafter downstairs. Ah, someone did leave me a comment for these growth accelerators. I might just go ahead and do this. Oh, are we out of prosperity? Oh no! Uh, how do I get prosperity, like, a lot of it? Is there any way to get a ton of it? Besides bees? No! God damn it. I don't want to do any freaking mining of prosperity. I'm probably gonna have to get Prospera bees. I didn't want to mess with bees. Need a crystalline bee. Quartz nest. Well, I guess I have to mess with bees. Do I have... I know I have silk. Well, I have silk touch on my freaking shovel. So, well, I'm gonna need to make a quartz nest and get some honey treats. I guess I gotta mess with bees. Oh, well. Guess we're doing bees, guys. I didn't want to mess with bees at all because I've messed with them so much. But I need prosperity. So let's go do that. Let's go to the nether real quick. Um, what I was going to do is I was going to talk about the growth accelerators. Someone mentioned to me in the last episode that to get the best out of the growth accelerators here, you want to do them in a tiered system. So this first one, right, has a range of 12. So you do 12 of these ones, right? But then you go to the other, let's look at the accelerators. So you do 12 of those because their range is 12. And then you do 12 of these because their range is 24 below the first tier. And then you do 12 of these below that tier, 12 of those below that tier, and then 12 of these below that tier. So it saves you resources. I am unsure if they do the same like amount of boost per block but that's that's what i was that's what was mentioned to me and it does make sense if they use the same amount of math to do 12 12 12 etc uh, because you can save a bunch of supremium that way so i'm gonna go ahead and try that and that's why we need prosperity so i can make so i can make those things so we need to make some quartz hives or a quartz nest so you use an iron sword in a quartz ore and you make the nest so now i need to figure out what biome i need to go to for this does it need to be a specific biome in the net oh just in the nether okay so and then i need bee cages oh man i forgot bee cages okay well time to go back let's get rid of that time to go back because i need sturdy bee cages 
I have a bunch of bees. I can just make regular bee cages, I guess. I'll do that. All right, back to the nether again. I have and I have two honey treats, thankfully. I don't remember where I got those, but I have two of them, luckily, so we can use them on these nests here. So let's clear this area out for myself. And we'll place this here. Then we'll place this one here. And we will use the use a spawn item. Oh, do I need to use quartz? Maybe I need to use quartz on it. Ouchies. Is that what I need to use on it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. So quartz will spawn those bees. Let me grab some more quartz. Man, I really miss having fortune <laughs> already. <laughs> okay. All right. So two and a half minutes and then we will have them. Hey, buddy. What'd you drop? A blue helmet of magic protection. Nice. How cool of you. Well, I'm just gonna wait for my damn bees then. Oh, I can grab more. Come here. And come here. Yeah! But I don't have any prosperity now though, which sucks. But I can go get some. Cause it doesn't spawn in the mining dimension, I don't think. Yeah, so we're going to have to go mining down here. Uh, where does it spawn? What level does that crap spawn at? 24 and minus 60. Okay. Let me find some exposed. Is that some? Nope, that's osmium. Prosperity! I would like to have some of you, please. Christmas! That's some. One. How many did we get? 20. Nice. I think that's enough because we need two blocks of it to get them. Zinc. Fort. Axolotls. Those things are too cute. Zinc. I mean, if I can find more, I'm going to grab it. So I'll keep, I'll look down, look around for a little bit. There's some. If 39. Damn, one block gave us 20, and that block, two of those blocks gave us half of what one block did. That's crazy, cuz. So many of these blocks look so similar. What are you? Spider spar? Four blocks. Nice, we have a stack. Ugh. Don't yell at me like that. What do you think I am, huh? You can't talk to me like that. These caves look so nice. I like these caves. They are very nice. More prosperity. Thank you. All right. Slash home it is. We can do that. Okay. We got some silverfish, a skeleton, and some cave spider spawners. Okay. A shimmer book, which is dumb. Plague bringer and channeling. Okay, I don't care about any of those. We do need to make an advanced oak beehive. And then productive oak expansion box. I mean, I guess we don't need to make an expansion box just yet. But what I do need to do, though, is make these and i think i need two more as well to place down or i just need one um now i need to get some glass it's connecting glass now i need to think about where i want to put these damn bees we have a network over here um could do could do over here sure i'll do it right here uh just to start i guess so two we'll do that do the beehive here like so and this can I put this under here nice and if I do that it does not connect that's dumb 
Slab. Hey, slab. Just grab these out. I'll do this. For now, I'll just cover that as well. Do a little bee house. Door. I sure hope the bees can't get out. Now I need to do this. Oh, I needed them to come back outside, damn it. Then what I can do is this, put that there. Need to go to bed, so these guys come back out. If they ever do. Come out, come out boys. Don't worry, it's totally fine. There we go. Now they're Prospera bees, and they should go ahead and do it. Do it to them on that block. Where'd the other one go? The hell did he disappear? Oh, you got out, you mother! How? How did you get out? Spin on the block. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe I just need to do this. I don't know how he got out. But I don't want to risk it. You excited? There you go. Now these guys should produce combs. I hope. I hope. Some bottles in there. And then we can hook up an importer to this. Actually, what we'll probably do is make a powered centrifuge. And we'll have the combs get processed before they even go into the system let's make a centrifuge and then we'll make a powered centrifuge like so it's ruining the honey some vegan no okay so now we have a powered centrifuge and we'll do we'll place it i guess we'll just place it on top of the house here and then I'll do an importer like so. We'll take some cables and just hook this up like so. There we go. And now we need a gate, an ender gate. Should be enough. And we'll put that on there. So now it's getting power. What do you have, bud? Some crazy nutty pants. Does have protection five? That is that is cool. I'll say that. That's pretty neat. But I don't... I, no, no, I don't need it. I need some item pipes. But it's also going to output bottles of honey. That's fine. We just do this. Up to here. Oh, I need to move that uh, gate, actually. So we'll take the gate. Put it here. The barrel. Like so. Whoops, not like so. We'll move that, this too. And we'll move this over here. We'll do that and we'll make another importer. This, and then we can do that. There we go. Okay, and now we can get the item pipes again and pipe them like that. Whoops. Now we need to get upgrades on these because we need to be able to use a filter. I can't filter on these. So you, I can't even filter with that. Well, the comb should go into here. And can I put a filter on you? Ah, I know what I can do here. Just put a drawer and have it only take honey bottles i'm gonna have to wait for them to build up a honey bottle first that's okay uh what i can do though is lock it we'll do this and we'll lock it so it can't put anything in there yet and we'll just break this and so that should have made us some prosperity yeah they're doing it now okay well 
We had, we were kind of forced to get into bees a little bit, which is unfortunate, but that's okay at the same time. It is indeed something that I didn't want to do, but it is what it is. Essence. Okay, yeah, we need to set up auto crafting for these thingies in here. Let's go get another bee, another Prospera bee, or a Crystalline bee, which means we're gonna need another block of Prosperity so I can turn it into a Prospera bee. Boop, 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 Okay. Just keep spamming it. It's a waste, but I don't care. My time is valuable. Come here, boy. There you go, thank you. You're in my hand now, and we're gonna take you up top with your brethren. And hopefully, you don't immediately go into the house. So do that, bam. Yeah! Yeah, there you go, harvest. Spin! Yeah! Okay, sweet. Well, I had to mess with bees. There was no other way around it, man. I needed automated prosperity, especially if we're going to start messing with more stuff with mystical agriculture, which is the plan. I plan to do more stuff with bees, and I also plan to work more on that farm. Like I mentioned in the last video, the harvesting pylon that was mentioned by Pilpo, I really want to try messing with that. And also, I just want to get the farm going way faster, especially when we're upgrading the reactor. We're going to start running out of uranite quick. So I want to get that farm pumping as fast as possible. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all take care and are doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.